25 years I've not been able to sign anything. I work for the movie studios and custom exhibit houses. So I was, uh, I was the hired gun, so to speak, because I was an airbrush artist. And um, now I'm able to sign my work. These are, um, sign. you know, here's a bench I did. Uh, here's some, a, a sign that I first started here. Here's some other uh, sign work. I thought I was get, first going to be a sign painter here or sign maker. Um, six foot, um, Smokey the Bear. Here, here's another custom piece that I did showing several pieces in one log. That was a nice big log. You can see the size of that log. Out in front of someone's house. Some other work. Here's me kind of in an um, interesting setting in Idlewell. <clears throat> you notice that on um, Pinecrest. It's, it's in front of Mike Pearson's house that I, I did for them. Originally the head was done by Jonathan and I redid the head and put a new body because it had rotten out. Uh, some other pieces that I did while I was at Mike Pearson's. Here's a um, full-size moose that I did. I had to glue three logs together to do this full-size moose which gave me the idea I could glue logs together for the monument. So this is really uh, the first one that I experimented with gluing logs together. That, that was a head of an eagle that was about eight foot. Here's some uh, pieces I did while I was working for Mike Pearson. He was the first one to hire me as a wood carver. I didn't. I said I couldn't do wood. I did some foam, but I didn't do wood. So these are some of the first things in wood. Here's some of my very first uh, foam carvings. This is a a big fist on a, in the back of a pickup truck. It's gone on the way the hard quarter that that I that I did for uh, WWF. You know, that wrestling trip mm -hmm. on, you know, I did that big fist for them this uh, I did uh, for a uh, it's a headless right now I'm later to add the head but I did it for a video game it's life-size um, here's my very first carving I ever did ever attempted and that's because the foam shaper didn't show up here I am uh, working on the waterfall right here and here's a tree laying down here which became this tree and here's the waterfall and here's the ruins and this is what it looked like at the trade show and this is what started me carving right here I didn't know I could carve anything and they just wanted me to do a three-dimensional painting that they could walk into um, here's one of the exhibits that that I built and painted it was for a video game uh, these are the doors of Nardia um, I did the duplicate. Uh, I don't even know duplicate, but I did a set of door, the for the movie door. You know the Nardia. These are the doors of Nardia that we did right here on this lot. We milled the wood that was right here on this lot, and, and uh, made these doors, carved these doors. Um, this is one of the. You know I did this for a custom order at the end of um, North Circle at the dead end. Uh, this is of course out here in front of my. Uh, a lot here the gargoyles when I first had completed them this everyone will recognize is a it's an eight foot chicken little this is the this is the last um, piece that I did for an exhibit house and after that I've totally retired I won't go down there and do that rat race anymore but anyway this is chicken little that I came up with before the movie was made this helped promote the uh, funding for the movie they needed an eight foot chicken little for me and they searched me out to do this and this is when I was already in Idlewild I already had this place here I already thought I was retired and they pulled me out of retirement to do this chicken little okay here's a uh, Spongebob <clears throat> this was this was to introduce the movie Spongebob custom dog nobody knows I do custom pets uh, Quia Market that's the big bear that sits out in front of Quia Market down in Anza this is one of my mantles. I thought that that's what I was going to be, mantle carvers, fireplace mantles. Here's a, I did for the Rustic Theater. Not too many people know I, I created this whole sign for the Rustic Theater. <clears throat> Here's a, uh, some of my airbrush work on a um, motorcycle tank for a Harley. Uh, this is my mother right here. Uh, before my dad died, you know, just a week before he died, he had me do this portrait of my mom. 
He wanted me to do this portrait. And he kept it in his uh, hospital room, and that's what he looked at. Um, this is uh, my dad. Uh, I thought this was my retirement job. I will never retire. You know, I, I can never retire. I mean, what's retirement? You know, it's not sitting down in a chair watching soap operas. To me, I decided retirement is picking up a chainsaw and working every day. And this is going to keep me healthy, and it's going to keep me young, and it's going to keep me here until I do everything I would like to do.